the economic revolution that uh, that the dictator Pinochet made in Chile in the in the eighties um, is one of the the main the main reasons of the inequality that we have now. So uh, I I think that we have to change them from the root, from the really root, and that it's that it's going to take some time. I know that um, we don't have to be anxious about it. But we have to have our goal in mind. We have to change economics here because uh, Chile has been like an, uh, a laboratory of, uh, of neoliberalism in the world. And that's why we are how we are. And I think we have to fight to change that. My name is Gabriel Boric Font. I'm from Magallanes, the southern region of Chile. I'm a, a person who believes in the, the principles of the left. Uh, I, I believe in cooperation uh, instead of competition. I believe that everybody has to have the same right, have to, has to have the same rights. You, you know, uh, Chile is one of the most unequal countries in the world. Um, also education, we fought for, it, for free education in the streets and we are going to do it here in Parliament also. And also we want to give more importance to the regions. We are a very centralized country, everything happens in Santiago. And uh, of course you have less opportunity not only in, in education if you live in a, in a far region. Here we have like, like two different countries, so one country for the rich people that are the minority, like 5% of the population, and a country for the, the poor. And I think that it's not, um, we cannot uh, keep on living like that. How do you turn that moment into a movement? Because the people that I spoke to who expressed doubts about your ability to change things in Parliament were expressing doubts actually about the whole system. Oh, yeah. okay. So, I mean, how do you turn that, that powerful moment um, with those student protests, which were such an expression of democratic will, how do you turn that into a political opportunity? Well, actually I have the same doubts. I, I don't either. The, the fact that I'm here now working here in Parliament doesn't mean that I believe uh, that like here in Parliament we can change the world or we can uh, fight inequality, you know. It's a very... No, nobody believes in, in the Parliament. Nobody believes in congressmen here. Um, and that's because we have been like 24 years with uh, people that don't listen to the, par the parliament don't listen to what the people want to say or, or what the people want. If we want to change the country, it's not going to be with the same people that have been doing the same things during the last uh, 40 years. No, we have to, to re renew the, all the political institutions. So this is not the place where changes are going um, are gonna to be made. Mm. But it's a place that w in in in, we, in where we have to fight for them also, uh, but also the streets, also the the organizations, all, also the the social movements. It's not a, a contradiction, I think. I think uh, education it's like the a big deal in Chile nowadays because it's like the wound from from where it, uh, the inequality uh, bleeds. I think that that it's a fact that uh, we live better than we did, I don't know, uh, 50 years ago. But I, I don't know if that means that Chile is a better country to live in. Uh, because people tend to, like the, the, the official voices tend to, uh, to say that we are better because we have more money. But I think the social fracture here in, in our country is bigger than it was before. One of our, our main um, our main phrases, it's uh, we're not gonna stop until we live happily, and uh, that it, it may sound cliche, but but it's a, a profound declaration of principles, you know, because uh, why are we, why are we doing all this thing? Why are we working here in this to be happy? And we cannot be happy in a country that is so unequal that we uh, have like a country for the poor ones and a country for the rich ones. That's what, what uh, motivates us.